And there you have it. The moment you guys have all been waiting for. I know it's been so long for this moment. I'm so happy that I could have done this for you all here today on the 15th. Still summer. I know you guys have been waiting for creatures for years now. I've heard it everywhere. Uh, yeah, I see like some people are angry maybe in the chat. Don't you guys, don't you have phones? Don't you want to play a game with rivals of either characters on your phone? How, how could you be angry about this? It's a brand new release date that we've just revealed to the whole world. September 28th. You can get it on your phone. It's free. Uh, then you can put more money into it. Then we get money. Then we can make more games. So, yeah, you should just check that out. Uh, for all you guys who don't know me, I'm Dan Fernacy. That's how you say it. I'm the creator of Creatures of Ether, soon to be the most popular game in the planet. Um, I think, though, I have this feeling that people are here for something else. They're looking for other news maybe i don't know like what exactly you want like we're just out here trying to make games trying to make release dates trying to reveal stuff for you our fans and i'm just trying to make everybody happy that's why all, all at the end of the day i'm just trying to make some good games and make everyone happy um so yeah it's a short stream that's pretty much pretty much it don't really have it too much to talk about you know I was gonna play creatures but I'll just wait for you guys to be able to get it on the 28th like I think it it's definitely you got to play it yourself to just experience the magic um, I don't want to keep you too long it's already been going on for like eight minutes now so should probably you know just cut the stream um, I was thinking I could do a and a but I don't know. I don't know if there's really that many questions you could ask. Like, there's not really any other stuff that we're, like, we have to talk about or anything. Uh, but I think before I do leave, we have, like, another, we have, like, a new thing we kind of want to show off. So, you know what? Maybe we'll just end with the video, and then uh, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you all later. Let's do that. So here's just another another quick little video for everyone.
there you have it. The official announcement of the delay. We are not coming out in summer 2020. I saw on Google summer ends the start of the 22nd. So unfortunately, you guys, there's the delay. It's September 24th. So you guys, you bet, I bet you all thought that was a fridge. See, for you guys paying attention, this was a switch. It was a switch the whole time. The whole time. And it had rivals on it. Right there. You all thought it was a fridge. Ha! You need to pay attention to the stream. Ah. Uh. Um, so yeah, we're finally coming out, it's September 24th, 2020, and now, um, now you're just going to hang out with me. So the plan today is, in 15 minutes, I'll be watching, uh, a workshop, um, direct. So a lot of workshop creators have been working on stuff they've all joined together to make an unofficial workshop direct so i'll be watching that on this stream doing a little you know what the streamers do you react to it and you pretend like it's your content then um so i'll be doing that we'll also link out to it that's on youtube so if you want to stick around you can stick around for that um i'll be answering some questions so i think a lot of people were probably waiting for the release date obviously was a big thing, but they were looking for something new, um, like a character or uh, something like new content. So for those paying attention, there was like a new skin in there. There's like a lover's Forsburn. Um, so we had like a buddy for Forsburn, but we didn't think it was super cool. So we told Elian to make a lover's Forsburn skin. So that will be like his milestone now. Um, the biggest reason we don't actually have any new content is um, the game actually has been done since uh, June. So we've just been trying to get it through and approved. Um, we didn't want to like change anything. So we've had um, we've had times like the actual full launch, we had times where the content we were adding like delayed launch so like story mode and like all of that stuff so this time as we were finishing up um like all pretty much all the netcode stuff since 2019 uh we didn't want to like commit to too much new stuff that would like delay us so even um tetherball was a risk um all right so i see a lot of stuff in chat price all right so the game will be 29.99 on the 24th um, so it's like $5 cheaper than if you got all the DLC. Um, and then, uh, wait, what else was I going to say? Yeah, still on Steam. If you get the game now, um, you'll get all the DLC characters. So you, up until the 24th. So basically on the 24th on PC, the DLC goes away and the game just becomes twenty nine ninety nine. So if you have friends who got the game and have been played in a while then you can tell them they can just hop on steam play all the characters crossplay no so there's no crossplay um steam and switch are separate separate user bases um be separate accounts we basically just use um nintendo's matchmaking and online servers for switch so no crossplay and then also the accounts aren't going to be linked so as of launching on switch um we don't have any skins other than milestones so we're gonna like sort that out i would like to do some skins later this year maybe going into early next year um we don't really have like a good way to like transfer anybody's skins um so we'll either do what we did on xbox which was like we kind of sold like skin packs so you can get like a set of, I don't know, like um, the champion ones, for example, on Switch. Or we'll do, um, or I'll try to figure out if we can like do some kind of, you can transfer like a bunch of them at once or something. Um, but as of right now, 
Switch is just one game product uh, without skins. Also, later today, if you follow me on Twitter, there will be a Medium post from me that goes over the Switch development. So with that, um, there will be a lot of um, information on where some of the stuff is and how, why this took so long and why is it 2020 when we, I first mentioned Switch in 2017 or something. Um, and it does talk about the netcode. Why is there no rollback, Dan? Um, so that's all in there. Uh, for rollback, I'll give you like a TLDR. Um, we're kind of still at the same state as when we paused it last summer. Um, I will say, like we are, we are selling the new netcode, and um, obviously that's more stable than we've been testing because that's the new netcode is what's for definitive on both PC and Switch. Um, so I wouldn't say like we'll never. There's no chance rivals will have rollback, um, but it would be like way it'd be post release by a lot and. Um, probably be other people working on it. Uh, I don't think I would be working on it directly, so we'd have to get some people in to uh, specialize in that specifically. So if you or know anyone who's a game maker dev who would like to help us in that regard, please have them email contact at rivalsofether.com and we can uh, talk to them about maybe doing some rollback. Hit us up. Um, so yeah, we basically just announced both of our games are coming out within four days of each other. So on Thursday, the 24th, uh, Rivals Definitive will be out on Switch and Steam. And then on Monday, the 28th, Creatures of Ether will be out on iOS and Android. All right, so other platforms, Mac, we haven't even looked really looked into it yet, but we probably will have a Mac version of Definitive. Um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a bit, cause I think my goal for like Mac would be pretty much once we're done, like other than like some minor changes. So um, Mac would be later. And then I think now that our netcode is like made by yellow afterlife and it's kind of like in game maker we don't have the we're not limited to just pc on steam so we'll definitely look into mac but i would imagine early 2021 for that um other platforms xbox i'm gonna say we're we're still planning to bring definitive to xbox um I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like since I don't know on Steam what we're doing is like the DLC is no longer available and then the game goes up. Hopefully we can do that on Xbox too. Um, if we can't, then it might just be definitive but the characters are still separate. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, and that would be like late, like definitely second half of 2021. Um, Cause the reason being we still need to get dev kits to actually be able to even test or player on Xbox and then I think something about there's like new Xboxes I don't know like the last update we had on Xbox was in I think 2018 uh, when we brought uh, Eliana and Silvana so a lot of the development environment has changed since then so it will be a minute um, we had to focus just on Switch and Steam just to get the game out so Sorry, Xbox. Um, turn up the mic or turn down the mic? Oh, I can turn it up, sorry. Uh, what else? People are asking about a physical release. As of right now, um, we're just doing digital the eShop for rivals on switch but we are looking into doing a physical release um 
that would be later probably limited um, pre-order okay so one of the, the challenges we had with um, rivals on the eShop is um, we wanted to still launch in September so we don't actually have there's not gonna be pre-orders on the eShop um, the page should go up later this week so you can like view it um, but you won't be able to like pre-order the digital game you'll have to just get it on the 24th when it comes out so I'm sorry it was basically like put it into October or do pre-orders um, so we chose to get it out sooner yes so rivals on switch has um not only it has gamecube controller support so a lot of games most games it's pro controller support we actually have like gamecube controller support so it notices it recognizes between a gamecube and a pro controller and has like the right ui and everything um we also wanted that because uh we use like the back button differently so on switch it's like d-pad down or on pc rather we use like d-pad down i think we ended in the same control scheme we kept jumping around on switch on how we wanted to handle like the the um basically what used to be the select button so i think we ended up putting it back on d-pad down and we had it on like the z button anyway it works you can use the gamecube controller you can play it in handheld mode you can uh oh there's also some like new stuff in here that I, we haven't even like talked about so flashy goodness has been doing a lot of work on definitive like polishing it up we also had Elian doing a lot of work on all the menus so if you see we have like the the art on the new main menu so one of the things that we had flashy goodness set up is um so story mode is the same. I know a lot of people were wondering, hey, you're gonna make all the other characters, right? And there's gonna be like all these new chapters. Um, no. So we talked about it a lot. We have like design docs and story docs for, let me turn this down. We have like design docs and story docs for um, uh, like a chapter two and a bunch of stuff. But at the end of the day, like it, it's so much work like it probably pushed us back six months in terms of releasing the full release on Steam, like once we were done characters. Um, and also it got like really negative re reception on Steam, the whole story mode. Um, like to mo like a couple of reviews saying like, this is the only bad thing in the game. And so like, that doesn't make us feel good. Like we, it just, we didn't want to put too much time into it. Um, I know obviously we could have done better um, and improved it. But at the same time, um, we didn't want like story mode to be, you know, pushing our date back. So a couple of things we did is we added some improvements to the story mode for both. This will be on both PC and Switch. So one thing that's cool is um, when you start it up now, if you've played this game, if you've um, beat the story, it defaults you to a skip story option. Um, and if you haven't, it defaults you to view story. But even if you haven't beat it, you can just select skip. And then what skip does is it just doesn't even play any of the um, panels. So it's basically like, you know, an arcade mode. Um, so this is for people who want an arcade mode. And then the other thing we did for both versions is if you look in this corner, uh, it's gonna be really hard to see. Um, there's co-op, ah, you can't read it. It's co-op press um, L and R, which is on Switch, the control. It's like press, I think, start on PC. Um, so you can do drop-in co-op in story mode, um, just local. So like if you have, you know, a friend or, I don't know, a sibling of some kind that you want to do story mode with, you can, um, you can have them press start and then and basically every fight's going to be a 2v2 instead of a 1v1 then 
So it spawns another CPU, and then it spawns the other player, and then for the rest of the that character's rounds, it's um, co-op. And I see some questions. So keyboard support, there isn't any on Switch. We looked into it. Um, I think the only way you can support the keyboard is for like inputs, um, for like typing. So like if there's a keyboard that comes up, you can use that. Um, we couldn't figure out a way to get it to work for game inputs. Um, so your option for keyboard is there's tools. There's a guy who's doing, who um, has a Kickstarter for just using, I think, a regular keyboard adapter. And then there's also like you can get a hitbox or something that looks like a keyboard that's actually a gamepad. Um, those would be your best two bets for a keyboard on Switch. Um, and then it looks like we have like three-ish minutes till we'll be watching a workshop direct. Um, I saw somebody ask about ranked. So we've, I think I've talked about this on Twitter, but that's the only place we've talked about it. Um, the ranked mode is actually different on definitive. Um, so one of the things I actually really liked in ultimate was, um, I guess we do need to do a patch notes. Probably. We'll probably put one out the 24th because there is a lot of stuff that's different, surprisingly. Um, been working on this for a long time now. So one thing I liked in Ultimate is how each character had their own, um, the GSP or whatever, and then like you level, you ranked them up individually. Um, and one reason that's cool is like you don't feel as bad like switching to an alt as you do in Rivals. Um, I know a lot of people in Rivals like the top to be top players like they don't care they can get master and they can play whoever and they're ridiculous but then the players who want to level up is um it can be really hard to like actually maintain your level and play other characters so what we've done is this is going to be a little blurry but every character has their own ranked so i'm bronze on everyone right now this is a new save but um Basically, you queue up as your character. Um, it's still best of three. So what we did is between after you start the queue and then between smashes, you can switch, but only to someone who's a lower ranked. Only a character that's lower ranked. So if you queue up as silver, as Zetterburn, and your Orcane is gold, then you can switch to anyone who's lower than silver. So like anyone who's silver or bronze but you can't play Orcane, you can't play anyone who's higher. Um, and then we also have like a ranking for random too, so you can like get your random, every, all of them go up to master, and then once you hit master, it pulls in your leaderboard score instead of your, uh, instead of your rank.